Okay, so here we are again with a, another quick video on jet engine igniter boxes. And some of you might have seen the last couple of videos that I posted, which uh, were basically on a homemade uh, igniter box, which is now sitting on the shelf there. So what we're going to talk about tonight, tonight is a commercial uh, and more modern jet engine uh, igniter box. Now this particular one here I uh, got off eBay and it's from a Tornado jet as I understand so it's fairly modern and this particular unit was marked US which means unserviceable and I bought it several months ago and it's been sort of stuck in the garage and today I decided to open it up and see if we could do anything with it if not get it working again, or uh, worst possible scenario, send it to the scrap heap. So anyway, the um, problem was that this is a sealed unit, so it's not a question of it's not just a simple question of undoing the screws. We had to uh, get an angle grinder to uh, to open it up. But anyway, I've done that, and unlike previous experiences these seal units where they're just full of resin and you can't do much with them. This particular night box was full of um, cotton wool and the components are quite easily seen. Anyway, so I opened it up and tested it and found that the main problem was the transistor which you can see over here. And that particular transistor there unfortunately uh, is broken and I've replaced it with one I had in the box and so far it seems to work. So what we've got here we've, we've set it up with the night plug and I've got the oscilloscope there which I'm going to show you what the output of the switching circuit looks like. We've got that rigged up to the uh, base of our Power transistor. That particular, that one over there is actually a uh, 2N3055 uh, standard uh, medium power to high power switching transistor. Okay, enough talk. Let's see what happens when we turn it on. So we've got quite a nice spark there, and if we look at the scope, that's the output of the uh, switching unit. It's not really that much, it's probably about 3 or 4 volts. And uh, you can see how the wave, like the wave form changes every time the uh, spark discharges. So we'll just disconnect that for a minute. So the plan is that we will replace that transistor and put everything back together again and it's quite a nice feeling when you know that this unit currently at the moment sells for about three to four thousand dollars on eBay second-hand igniter boxes and uh, this one was heading for the rubbish bin and we've managed to save it and it all Live to fight another day. Thanks for watching.